Hello JDs and Lentilmen, welcome back to another informational video on this channel. I'm going to be educating you today on what an agent is, basically how it works, and pretty much just that. Uh, there is still a lot of confusion around this, this subject, and many of you guys don't really understand how everything works. So I figured this video would uh, help you understand, and without further ado, uh, let's just get into it. So, what agents do? This is very simple. In this specific context, they're literally just logistical companies, okay? So all they do is handle transport, basically. Because platforms like Taobao and Wadeon aren't accessible to us Westerners, you know, me, you, and uh, Jimmy watching this video right now, an agent allows them to purchase goods from those platforms. So for example, I have this watch here, and it's a cool watch, I wanna buy it, right? But it's on Taobao. And first it prompts me to log in, everything's in Chinese, it's confusing, and even after you log in, a lot of sellers on Taobao just simply won't ship internationally, or even care to deal with you because you're a Westerner. So what you can do is order it through an agent. So what you would do is copy this item link, and you would paste it in on an agent website. And from here on, you are more than welcome to purchase this item to the agent warehouse, okay? So that's basically what an agent is. It is literally just like a, a middleman or an, a way in which you can place an international order for items that are listed on the Chinese website. You can also track the order process, all that good stuff. And an agent is just that, a way for you to buy things from within China and ship them to you. So just to be clear, right? As I have here, agents do not produce or own any of the items that you can buy on their website. And when I say on their website, I mean through their website, okay? Nothing that you buy from an agent such as All China Buy is from All China Buy. It is from a different platform that they are then buying from and shipping to you. All the items you view are from the aforementioned platforms. So Weidian, Taobao, Yupu, uh, 1688, Pinduoduo, all that stuff, these Chinese platforms, that's what an agent does. They just place that order for you and then they allow you to uh, ship it to you. And this can literally be for pretty much anything. It can be clothes or electronics. If you guys are part of the gaming mice community, you know a lot of people there buy mice from Taobao because it's a lot cheaper and you can get products that aren't released yet in the Western market because China is just far ahead in that sort of uh, context. But obviously on this channel, it's mainly clothes, shoes, jackets, all that stuff. And uh, that's pretty much what I think many of you will be using it for. So what is the actual process in the majority of agents, right? When you're placing an order, uh, what does it look like? So first of all, you want to find a product that you want to buy. So you can either use Reddit, Discord, or people's spreadsheets. So just for example, obviously I'm going to use my own personal spreadsheet just to show you guys to visualize it. But you'd find one of these spreadsheets with product names, prices, and images. And you would simply just go by here. You'd be redirected to the agent website now you're more than welcome to just place the order so that's literally what finding a product is like or you can also use reddit or discord i haven't done an individual video on how to find items in the past so if you guys want to check that out please do and this spreadsheet will be in the description as well so if you want to find any products or if you want to buy any products that i'm sharing right now you can do so once you find the product you want you place an order on the agent website okay so the order buying everything that entire process is being done on the agent website you don't care about taobao you don't care about wadeon you didn't really do anything there you're finding products on there but you're buying it on the agent website at this stage, you will only pay for the product and domestic shipping. So just to help you visualize it, these ridiculous uh, recurring shoes, which I would personally never wear, but I mean, each to their own. You've got the price, which is 828 yuan. This is a Chinese currency, not yen, the Japanese currency. I know many people get confused with that. 828 Chinese yuan, okay? And you've got the price for this item, and then you've got the Chinese shipping fee. For In this case, it's free. Sometimes it will be like 10. It depends on the seller. Uh, and th this is all the paying you're doing now. And then you just pick a size, pick a color, and place the order. This item that you've placed the order for, for example, those recurrence will be then shipped to the agent warehouse in which you will receive the photos, the quality control photos or quality check photos of your product. So just to show you, I've got my orders here, for example, and I can view the photos for this hoodie or I could scroll down and view the photos for this t-shirt. And sometimes you'll get some detailed photos. It depends on the agent how these photos will look as well. It varies. And with All China Buy, for example, you will sometimes receive a video of your item being packed. So you can see in its raw form how it's being fingered, I mean, uh, held and touched by the agent. And this is basically the whole process, as I've just shown. So you find a product, you order it, you wait until it comes to the warehouse, and then you submit it for shipping, which I'm going to get onto now. So once you're happy with the product, you can submit them for international shipping to your personal address, so your home, your flat, I don't know, your garage, You, if, if you've got a PO box or something. So that's what you do, you just ship it to yourself. You can order 10 different products and ship them all together. You don't need to order everything at once. Uh, depending on the agent, you have a different period of time that you can keep uh, products in the warehouse free of charge. So with All China Buy, for example, I believe it's 90 days. And I think that's kind of the industry standard. So if you want to order something now, order something in a month and then order something in two months, you can ship those three products together. 
And this is the most expensive part of the process. This is really where the money stacks up. International shipping, because you need to pay for this large parcel to be shipped to your house. And also they need to make money, right? The agent needs to make money because in this whole process here, they're really not making a profit on anything, nothing really. So the, the majority of the profit comes from fees and comes from shipping prices where they obviously take a cut because I mean, it's a fucking logistics company. They need to make money. And that's literally the whole process. I mean, <laughs> you find a product, you buy it, you wait for it to arrive to the warehouse and get your photos. And then you are, once you're happy with the product, you can ship them internationally. Now, if you're confused on what's submitting an order internationally actually looks like, you simply go to your warehouse tab and just click on an item, submit whatever items you want. I'm just gonna select this one for, for exemplar purposes. And then you click submit. And obviously this will look different on different agents, but I mean, for all China buy, this is basically what it is. You have your choice of shipping lines. So here you've got like 30 or so to choose from. And you basically, the way you know which shipping line is the best is through other people, basically. So you'd go on Discord, you'd message me on Discord or ping me, I should say. And then I could help you decide. Depending on the country you're from, you prefer to use different shipping lines. And obviously the prices are alongside here. The first couple, like, 100 or 500 grams depending on the line are going to be the most expensive so usually it's smarter to uh, submit a larger order for example you see with this shipping line the first 500 grams is worth 125 yuan so no matter if your package is one gram or 499 grams you're still paying 125 yuan up front which is obviously quite annoying uh, so you might want to ship larger hauls and you pick a shipping line I'll, I'll just pick whatever for, for this example. You declare, choose your uh, value added services, and then you submit it. You pay, you submit it internationally, and it comes to your house. That's all it is. Now, the big question is, what separates agents? What makes you want to use one over the other? Now, this is where things get a bit confusing because there's a lot of agents available, especially recently because of all the raids and stuff. A lot of new companies have been popping up or companies have been splitting into smaller agents just to kind of like spread their wings. But these are basically the main factors people consider. So you've got shipping prices. Uh, some companies will take smaller cuts. Some companies will take larger cuts, but that usually reflect on the quality of the service um so for example if you've got a, an agent that's super cheap everything else might be worse you've got processing speeds how quickly an order will be picked up how quickly it will be purchased how quickly you receive the photos that all matters uh with some agents i know people are on process pending for over a month recently content creator endorsements so someone like me uh which is cringe to say someone like me a big content creator like myself uh will endorse a certain agent and then as you the viewer uh would like to support me or you trust me you would go with that agent which obviously it's it's one of the most popular ways that people find for, about an agent that's how Panda Buy had its big explosion on TikTok because people were just endorsing it so much, they were pushing it so much. And then you've obviously also got ease of use, so how good the website is, how good the app is, how good the mobile support is. Recently, um, All China Buy actually released a update on their mobile website, so you can proper pro enjoy the site on mobile now. It doesn't look like a total piece of shit. And the iOS app is almost out. And then up next, you've got safety. How much can you trust this agent, right? How much do you want to trust them with your money? How safe will your stuff be? Are you sending your money and your data to some random company? You know, that's kind of one of the things you want to think about as well, because you are sending money abroad into China, which I know uh, from a Westerners point of view, that might not be the best thing to do. Uh, there's a bit of a weird relationship there. And then you've also got support or social media presence. So for example, with ACB, you've got a nice big Discord server, almost 30,000 people. You've got helpers such as myself. You've got uh, community assistants such as Miki and YB Better. And these people will help you as much as they can. You've also got ways of contacting them, the, the staff, like the upper, upper staff directly. And sometimes the, the moderators will come in here and chat with you as well. And you can also contact them on the website. You really want to make sure that you've got a good support mechanism in place. Uh, you don't want to order from a website or from an agent and then they don't reply to you for however many hours or it's very hard to get in touch with them but here you've got help center or support center i should say uh, you can ask specific questions you know these support mechanisms are really really useful especially for a new user someone that isn't very experienced with an agent you might get confused on what you're doing here whereas you can come to a discord server ask a couple questions maybe get laughed at a little bit but in majority of cases you will get the help you want and that pretty much sums it up i don't even have like a little goodbye uh, slide but i mean these three slides are all you really need to know and this video is basically all you need to know to understand how an agent works to understand what an agent is okay it's really not a confusing thing to understand it is placing an order in china through a website and then having it shipped to you there are two payments you have to do free payments item the domestic shipping so shipping from the seller to the warehouse and the international shipping and obviously with international shipping you can have value added services uh, which means basically extra protection for your parcels but that doesn't really matter we don't really care about that right now as long as you understand what the process is and you're not confused you know many people say oh yeah i got my um i got my new shoes from a website you didn't get it from uh, that agent you didn't get it from all china buy for example you got it from taobao through all china buy I feel like this kind of misunderstanding kind of confuses people a bit too much and there's no need for that this is very clear and i hope you guys enjoyed this video employee of the month signing off on the right thank you guys so much for watching and for the support uh, i have a bunch of hauls shipped actually i think i've got like 40 kilograms including some decor so i hope you guys will be looking forward to that thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next week probably uh peace out